So one thing you guys are gonna learn about me is that I am determined. <laughs> so I know I said earlier I only did the front portion of our little glorious wrap. Look at that, looks amazing. So on the other side, I did a little practice run because I cut it a little bit short. Came out pretty decent. There are little flaws like right here. I stretched it a little bit too much, it ripped. So like I said, that's just a nice trial run. So I wrapped that with the fender on the car. So on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. See if it makes life any easier. We remove that cover piece. There's two clips and one bolt. Up on top of the engine bay, there's one bolt right there you gotta remove. Another one right here. And this one connects to your headlight. You have to remove that as well. You have to remove the bumper. Okay, so there's plenty of videos on how to do that. And there's gonna be one 10 millimeter bolt down there as well. That comes off. And then right here, I had to remove my mud flap to get behind our splash panel. And you guys can kind of see where my extension is, but there's one more 10 millimeter bolt right there. So once that comes off, we should be able to remove this fender. All right, so I lied. There's actually one more little 10 millimeter hiding right here. You have to remove that little plastic, little plastic guard to get access to it. That just came off by hand. But once you get that off, that should be enough to go ahead and break everything free. I swear, just when I think this thing's getting ready to come off, there's more surprises. So you have to remove this little bracket because underneath there's one more bolt and I promise that should be the very last bolt before we can go ahead and remove this fender. And just like that, looks like a salvaged car. All right, so here is our passenger fender. It's been all nice and clean and prepped. Got Heather here with us. Got Heather here with us, and she's gonna help us wrap this thing. Sometimes wrap, I feel, is a little bit better when you have those extra hands. So we're just gonna cut out the wheel well. Give ourselves a little more playroom. Just a little progression update. Looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in the sun. It's kind of a gloomy day, so we'll see what we can find out about these fenders. Well, there you go. This is all wrapped. However, like I said, it's an overcast day. So kind of hard to see everything. Which goes to show you this is just going to be an ever-changing color. All right, last and final piece is our door trim. Highly recommend taking the clips off the car, putting them back on this piece right here. Lines up better, and you can just pop them right into place. Just like that. really happy with the outcome I don't know how is it gonna feel about a little partial wrap but I like my little Frankenstein little project 
and since the sun is kind of blocking the view right now you don't see the nice rainbow effect but you get the nice dark gray that this wrap offers and you can't even go wrong with the gray color so again here on the front that's also wrapped so yeah I'm pretty happy with it pretty happy on the outcome Here's that nice sparkle for you. But yeah, once again, huge, huge, huge shout out to Vinyl Frogs for setting out that wrap. It's worked amazing for me, especially for somebody who's newer to wrapping. Um, made my life a lot easier. Now as a disclaimer, I will say, we'll see how this wrap holds up over time. Right now I do have Vivid Vinyl on the roof and that's been lasting for about going on five years now. So. And that's from the wear and tear of the desert over here to the stormy weather here in Florida. But, also, but it's also been garage kept, so we'll kind of keep a record on how the vinyl frog lasts in comparison to the vivid vinyl. So other than that, I just want to say thanks for watching. Never live your life in idle. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.